support this weekend on a tough U.N. measure on Iraq. But he and other heads of state at the Asia-Pacific Economic Cooperation Forum spoke with one voice about North Korea. CNN Radio's Kelly Wallace. It did not include any condemnation of Pyongyang. Instead, the 21 leaders saying, quote, We uphold that a nuclear weapons-free Korean peninsula is important. Peace and stability of the peninsula and Northeast Asia. We call upon the Democratic People's Republic of Korea to visibly honor its commitment to give up nuclear weapons. This is CNN. To you, it's just the garage. But to that car, lawnmower, or leaf blower you store inside, it's a cold, dark, desperate place. A couple of months in there and even a good engine can go bad. Gas gets stale, gum forms, engine won't start. There's a better way. With Stabil Fuel Stabilizer. Stabil keeps fuel fresh for over a year, so stored engines start quick and easy. Don't let a good engine go bad. When you store, start with Stabil. S-T-A-B-I-L in the automotive section. This is Ben. He's an Eskimo pie ice cream bar expert. First I eat the top. Then you would decide. I'll be careful not to get too close to the stick. Ben's glad Eskimo pie still covers their vanilla ice cream with the same famous chocolate coating they've used for 80 years. Now you get to start all over again, right? Is that another Eskimo pie? Officials with the National Transportation Safety Board are investigating what caused a crash that took the lives of Senator Paul Wellstone and seven others on the plane. NTSB Chairwoman Carol Carmody says the de-icing equipment installed on the plane will be examined thoroughly. The aircraft, of course, had icing equipment, anti-icing equipment, both the wings and the tail had anti-icing, anti uh, de-icing boots, I'm sorry. Uh, we are going to make every effort to determine if these were operational at the time of the accident. Meanwhile, Minnesota Democrats will meet Wednesday to choose a replacement candidate for the late senator. Former Vice President Walter Mondale has been named as one likely candidate. The election is November 5th. In Portland, the Oregonian newspaper says it will begin accepting same-sex commitment announcements. It's the latest major metropolitan newspaper to make such a move. The New York Times, the Charlotte Observer in North Carolina, and the St. Louis Post Dispatch have all made similar announcements in recent months. This is news from CNN Radio. The general public sees more problems with the quality of health care than doctors do. That's according to a new study, which also reports that fear of medical malpractice lawsuits prevents many doctors from reporting errors. A historically known black college may be forced to shut its doors. CNN Radio's Indra Sibyl has more on that story. That's because Morris Brown College is more than $23 million in debt. The Atlanta school was founded by former slaves nearly 120 years ago. The college now already on probation with the Southern Association of Colleges and Schools. A committee review starts Monday. The school could lose its accreditation, which means students would not be eligible for federal financial aid. More than 90% of those that attend the school rely on that assistance. Across the Atlantic, 24 deaths have already been attributed to a powerful storm that's hit Britain and northwestern Europe. Many were crushed by falling trees in 90-mile-an-hour winds. I'm Brooke Binkowski. This is the CNN Radio Network. Just a reminder, if your check engine light is on right now, make sure you get it checked by an ASC certified technician, like the ones you'll find at any Napa Auto Care Center. Now you can hear Hot Talk 1080 KOTK worldwide on your computer. To listen, just go to 1080kotk.com.